So uh, my mom got cancer um, at the age of 58. She had lung cancer, um, just clearing her throat. <clears throat> and when she was visiting me, and she's, I'm like, get that check. Never smoked a day in her life. Was diagnosed. Lung with, cancer. Never smoked. Never smoked. Oh my and god! Fuck cancer. It was it was awful. And then like a week after she um, got diagnosed with lung cancer, they found the brain tumors. And so she she had nine months. And she was a really, like, just a selfless woman. She was a paralegal. My, my stepfather was an engineer. And they just gave to us all the time in terms of, like, the work ethic. And if you want to own something, you have to earn it. So my mom died, and it was devastating for me. And it just really, like, made me question everything in life. And a couple years later, my stepfather was downsized. He just couldn't. He never went into the bedroom after she died, mm. and and he was just devastated when she died. So I found this unfinished bucket list when I was helping him move, and it was my mom's list that she had always wanted to do. Now For herself. For herself. And she'd always um. talked about it. I mean, as kids, you know, we would always look through the National Geographic magazines, and it was all these crazy things like see the seven wonders of the world, climb Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Fuji. And it's not like I grew up, I grew up in Pennsylvania out in the country, but like we didn't go hiking as a family. Now we went cross country in a van and slept in that for three weeks, but we didn't do all these crazy things, but she'd always wanted to. Um, and so I just had this epiphany, like I have to finish her list and spread her ashes to all the places she didn't get to go to. Wow. And it took me about a couple of years then to get to that spot where I was ready to leave my whole life. I mean, at that time I was, you know, had the big corporate job, my my husband at the time, you know, he was a chief technology officer in New York City. Um, we had the big house in North Jersey, Jag, BMW. And, you know, who does that? Who just leaves it? You know, and I talked to my husband, like, hey, let's do mom's list for a couple of years and just leave all this. And he's like, no, I'm climbing the corporate ladder. Like, why would I do? What are you, crazy? Mm -hmm. My family thought I was crazy, too. And I was like, well, I'm doing it. So we got divorced. I sold everything I owned and completely downsized and, like, took off. But also understand that her mom taught her about investments at, what, 13 years old? When I was 18, she marched me into Merle Lynch, and she's like, you're going to learn how to invest your money. I've been working since I was 12. Hmm. You know, Put I mean, herself through college and her MBA. Yeah. So, you know, we, again, mom's thing was you have to own it to earn it. You have to earn it to own it. So I was really good when I took off. Like, I didn't have any debt. Like, I never had any college loans. But I worked my ass off through college to pay for it, to make sure I didn't have any debt. My mom was one of those old school where I remember her having the envelopes for the grocery bill or for gas. And so um, that was probably the best lesson, one of the best lessons she's ever taught me. So you're not a slave to all those things. So I wound up researching, like, how do you climb mountains? What kind of gear and apparel do you need? And I took off and created a website called turnthepage.com so my family and friends would know where I was going. Mm. And um, How long ago was this, by the way? I started in 2007. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So just in time. Um, and, yeah, and I took, you know, first couple of years were really fast. Like, I did a lot of the bucket list things. Like, I first one I did was I went to... Machu Picchu and I couldn't just show up like from the train in Agua Caliente in Peru I had to backpack the Inca Trail like I had to earn that experience as part of what she taught me and so from there I went to Rome and um, from her ashes the Colosseum and then I flew down to Tanzania and climbed Mount Kilimanjaro and then from there you know just kept going and going and